are bariatric and metabolic surgeries dangerous what are the major complications after bariatric and metabolic surgeries people think that bariatric surgeries are very dangerous but actually they are very very safe surgeries bariatric and metabolic surgeries are performed for long lasting weight loss and long term remission from type 2 diabetes in fact obesity and type 2 diabetes are dangerous if anyone is suffering from severe obesity and severe diabetes they are at risk of life out of 100 members who are suffering from severe obesity and diabetes 50 members are at life risk if i do bariatric surgeries and metabolic surgeries for these 50 members who are at life risk 49 members life will be saved so they are actually very safe surgeries major complications after bariatric and metabolic surgeries are very very rare because we use high end high definition laparoscopic equipment advanced well sealing devices and imported high quality staplers and the surgeons generally are very experienced in doing the surgeries there are specifically surgeons who are doing only bariatric and metabolic surgeries who have a lot of expertise so complication risk is very less so one complication is major complication is bleeding that is intra abdominal bleeding bleeding occurring within the abdomen during surgery or after surgery while doing surgery if anyone develops bleeding that can be controlled so without any problem because of that high end technology we use generally we don't even reserve blood also for bariatric surgeries they are major surgeries but they are very safe that's why we don't even reserve blood unless the patient is suffering from uh, anemia before surgery if anyone develops bleeding after surgery we have to do relaparoscopy wash everything put a pipe that will settle generally that bleeding risk will be in the first 1 to 2 days where the patient will be already in the hospital so he is not at discharge so if any anyone develops bleeding that can be controlled so most of the people that one person risk who are developing bleeding it's because of the blood thinners we are using after surgery to prevent blood clots in the legs the second complication is the leak leak from the staple line so when we cut the stomach and intestine there is a possibility that it can leak if anyone develops leak we had to do relaparoscopy wash everything put a pipe that will take it off leak risk will be less than 1% in the first one week and uh, 0.1% between first one week to one month time after that generally leak will not occur if anyone is developing leak after that means they already developed leak within this one month and that has been manifesting after that so generally what we do is uh, we check for leak one week after surgery and one month after surgery if anyone doesn't develop leak at that time that that means that they are not developing in future so it's it's like this when you are building a house in slab we'll keep iron rods over that we'll put concrete once the concrete layer becomes strong it won't fall down similarly when you are using when you are doing bariatric and metabolic surgeries we are cutting the stomach with staplers these staplers are like iron rods over that body will put concrete layer once the concrete layer becomes strong there won't be any leak so the concrete layer will will become strong within one month time so after one month leak risk is almost nil so if anyone develops leak in this one week or one month time it's not you don't need to worry about that that can be we can do relaparoscopy wash everything put a pipe that will take care of that leak this is a very rare complication and third one is uh, deep vein thrombosis that means blood clots developing in the legs generally people who are suffering from obesity they are at risk of developing blood clots in the legs even if they travel even anyone travels in a flight for a long journey by putting the legs down there is a chance that clots can develop that's why in flight attendants they will be telling us to move legs frequently so when we are doing surgeries we are keeping the patient in slant position with legs down so there is a possibility that blood clots can develop during or after surgery so we take all the precautions to prevent dvt one is we during surgery will put some machines around the legs to pump the blood that's called pneumatic compression devices that device will be continued even after surgery and will make the people walk as early as possible after surgery and we give blood thinners to prevent uh, clots in the legs so by taking all the precautions dvt risk is very very rare so this bleeding leak or the, uh, deep vein thrombosis they are very rare complications even if they develop that can be managed thank you very much